Now, apex of the heart, of course, you can see because I told you it's a hollow muscular cone, so it has an apex. Now, this apex is completely formed by, remember, it's completely formed by the wall of the left ventricle, okay? And it is directed, long, the long axis is directed, again, forward, downwards, and towards the left. Now, its surface, uh, surface anatomy is really very important. This is often asked. So, because it's uh, important for, you know, auscultation, as for examination, as for uh, eco, uh, doing eco and all. So, apex of the heart, the surface anatomy is that auscultation point, or you can say to where actually you will find the apex speed of the heart or what is the surface anatomy of the apex of the heart. So, remember, it lies in the fifth intercostal space fifth intercostal space and here as I was telling you, you was the mid external line right dividing to one third on the right two third on the left so from the mid external line nine centimeters towards the left in the fifth intercostal space that will be the surface anatomy of the apex of the heart or you can say just a little medium to the mid clavicular line you will find in the fifth intercostal space is the apex of the heart. Got it? So, but in children who are less than two years of age, this will be found in the fourth intercostal space and it will, it will be found in the mid axillary, mid clavicular line in the fourth intercostal space in children less than two years of age. So, that was about the apex. So, apex can be examined in people who are thin lean individuals, you can uh, inspect, there will, there will be visible pulsation sometimes or you can palpate for the pulsations at this point, you can percuss, you can auscultate for the apex beat at this point, what I have told is fifth intercostal speed, just a little medial to the mid side. Okay, then about the base of the heart, opposite to the apex will be the base. Now look here, this I was telling is the apex so what will be the base base will be this